Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I just kind of wanted to give you an update on how things are going with me and what's been happening. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about was the results that I got back from my last doctor visit. Um, they did a dysautonomia 2 um, myoclinic panel on me and that is basically testing for different antibodies in my body, um, kind of tests for anything autoimmune going on in my body that could be causing my POTS. And the results came back and uh, the doctor didn't actually call and talk to me about it, but it's pretty clear based on what I read, even though it's kind of complicated, it says that there were no informative antibodies in my panel or my blood work but it also said that that does not exclude the possibility of possible neurological um, antibodies or neurological uh, reasons why um, POTS could be happening in my body. But as of right now, uh, we have not found any underlying uh, reason why I have POTS and so that is good. Um, let me think, what else was there? I think that was pretty much it for the results. Um, my next steps are actually getting IV fluids. He put in the prescription for me and we found out there is an infusion center here where I live at the hospital. And they are just kind of going through the insurance and getting all of that figured out. But I should be getting a call maybe even today um, to schedule. And if I don't hear from them, I'm supposed to call and get it scheduled. The doctor has me down for getting uh, 1.5 liters of IV solution, not exactly sure what it's going to be, and I don't know um, for sure how often I'm going to do it. The prescription says once a week for like six months or something. Obviously that's a long time to be getting a peripheral IV in your arm, so uh, I think we'll just see how it goes the first few weeks. and if it makes a difference, which the first time I had it, I'm pretty sure it did, but uh, we'll know better how it's going to help me, if it's going to help me, and then we'll kind of go from there. And yeah, I'm excited to get that started. Uh, I feel like if it is something that's going to help me, it could be really beneficial in a lot of ways, maybe give me more energy to be able to exercise more, and then that in turn can help me feel better as well. So. That's an exciting prospect and I'll be making um, videos after I get in the swing of things and let you know how the IV therapy is working for my dysautonomia and POTS symptoms. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Another thing that has been going on is all about mold. Now I don't know if you have researched or done any reading about mold possibly causing or worsening dysautonomia or POTS symptoms or causing it to happen. Um, I've read some studies, case studies on it, and I've read experiences about it. It was something in the past that kind of crossed my mind, but I didn't do a lot of research on it. And the reason is because we bought the house that we're in about two and a half years ago, and we've had moisture problems ever since. Like, it is so filled with moisture. There are mildew problems. Like, if my closet is packed pretty full, the clothes will start smelling of mildew. We'll get mildew under our dressers, under the bed. Um, there's certain areas of the house, like our bedroom in particular, is the worst spot. And it's just mildew, you know, and moisture. And it's not healthy and it's not good. But I never really made the connection um, that that might be a potential cause or worsening factor or whatever you want to call it for my POTS. But um, recently, you know, things have been got getting worse and even underneath the house where my husband has been digging out because we have to lift the foundation eventually, there is mildew and stuff growing on the dirt. Like six feet down on top, doesn't matter where, and then it's just like covering it and even though the dirt is seemingly dry, it's really bizarre. So my little son, who's two and a half, he also has a lot of allergies and eczema problems that have just been worsening and he never really gets better. And so um, we decided, you know, it was time to get a company out here, an env environmental company and test for mold and see exactly what we're dealing with, how extensive, 
extensive it is if there is mold growing and you know what's in the air and everything like that so they came last Wednesday and did that and when they were here uh, my husband said that they were kind of amazed when they went down under the house the guy has been in the business for you know like two or three decades and he'd never seen anything like that um, they just got the sense that it was probably pretty bad in the house sorry I had to stop the video for a second where was I um, yeah the company the people that were here working on the mold uh, testing said they didn't hadn't ever really seen anything like that um, with all the mildew growing in the dirt underneath the house um, so they took samples of the air they took swabs of uh, I think on the sheetrock um, different things that they have to do it's going to take about a week to get the results and it's almost been a week so I'm excited to get those results also a little nervous to see maybe how bad it is because mold is terrible for you um, it can cause all sorts of health problems it could explain a lot of things that we've been going through and I'm just eager to find that out so we can you know start the remediation and um, fixing the problem so yeah if any of you have researched mold um, and the relation to pots let me know or if you have a story that you know mold caused your pots or dysautonomia uh, let me know down below I'd really be interested to find that out um, kind of my thinking is after we get the results from the doctor or not the doctor but after we get the results from the company who did the testing um, and especially if the results are yeah you're living in a bunch of mold and all that um, I'm going to talk to my doctor and see you know what he thinks about that as a potential trigger for for pots and kind of just pick his brain about that because you kind of hear conflicting things um, on the internet or with different people's experiences some are certain that it's linked to causing dysautonomia which makes sense because you know it's a disorder of the autonomic nervous system and the mold and everything can you know get in there in your uh, in your body and brain and break things down and cause it to malfunction so it makes total sense to me and it could again be the reason why we're where uh, the whole family has been dealing with different different health issues since we moved here so we shall see how that goes um, I wrote a few things down to see uh, what I wanted to talk about so I didn't forget but I think that pretty much covers it um, my next video will probably be updating you on the IV therapy and letting you know how how that goes and if it helps me to feel better so I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video I hope you're staying well and safe bye bye